the topic we are discussing today is similarity. The question we have here reads, a container of height 90 centimeters has a capacity of 4.5 liters. What is the height of a similar container of volume 9 cubic centimeters? We are given the capacity of a container as 4.5 liters. I wish that we convert this into cubic centimeters. One liter is equivalent to a thousand cubic centimeters. This implies that 4.5 liters will be equivalent to, so we multiply by a thousand and that is 4,500 cubic centimeters. We're told a container of height 90 centimeters has a capacity of 4.5 liters. What is the height of a similar container of volume 9 cubic centimeters? So we're given the volume of a similar container and we also know the volume of the container given. From that we can determine the volume scale factor which is the ratio of the volumes, the volumes of the two containers. So if we take the volume of the first container, which is given as 4,500, this one here, over the volume of a similar container, which is 9, this here, then that should give us the volume scale factor. And this simplifies further to 500 over 1. Well, remember in the question you required to determine the height of a similar container. Now when you're talking about height, height is a length. That means we are going to use the linear scale factor to determine that. So we need to get the relationship between volume scale factor and linear scale factor. Now linear scale factor is calculated as the cube root of the volume scale factor. From what we are given, the linear scale factor will become, so we find the cube root of 500 over 1, and this should be, so we get 7.937 but I wish that we have this as a fraction, so we have the numerator and the denominator as one. The reason why I'm doing this is so that you may be able to compare the heights of the two containers. So we have the linear scale factor, which is 7.937 over 1, should be equal to, so on the numerator we have a bigger value than on the denominator, so on the right hand side we'll have on the numerator the height of the bigger container which we're told is 90 centimeters so we know it's bigger because it also had a bigger volume 4500 compared to this other container which only had 9 cubic centimeters so on the numerator we have the height of the bigger container which we're given is 90 centimeters and then we have to determine the height of the smaller container. So bigger over smaller, here also bigger over smaller. So cross multiplying, we are going to have 7.937H, that is this by H, and then on the right hand side we have 1 times 90. The height of the container becomes, dividing both sides by 7.937, the height of the container becomes 11.34 centimeters. And that is the height of that similar container. Now with that, we mark the end of this problem. Thank you for watching. Bye.